This is Twit. Microsoft's mobile version of Edge is going to start issuing fake news warnings. Oh, it's based on NewsGuard. I... Is NewsGuard not good? No, no, no. I don't want to make any judgments. NewsGuard is um, a little simplistic because it, it has a one-size-fits-all for everybody, well, red, yellow, or green rating of a news site. It's hard to do, right? I mean... Bingo. And... and yeah, so it's not gonna it's not gonna get you down to individual claims. It's going to be you know uh, sites that you think are not believable will get a different rating from what they do because it's one size fits all. Right. It also seems a little judgy. I'm looking at the exactly. I'm looking at well, the news guard. Well, that's the role of. I, mean, I know it has to be judgy, but look. <laughs> so they're talking about what DailyWire.com. This website generally maintains basic standards of accuracy and accountability. It does not repeat, repeatedly publish false content, gathers and presents information irresponsibly, irres but it does, I don't know why they get an X for this, or I guess because it does not, does not regularly, regularly correct or clarify errors. It doesn't handle the difference between news and opinion responsibly, and it does not disclose its ownership and financing. It's a little judgy, you know? It's like, well, that's the whole point of it, yeah. Yeah. I guess you have to be judgy, right, if you're judging. But I, Yeah, and I, and I just it's done by Stephen Brill and Gordon Krovitz. Oh, Stephen well, Brill started like Brill. Court TV. Yeah. He, um, uh, the two of them started the paywall infrastructure for media, and they never liked me for not loving paywalls. Uh, and uh, so now they've started this effort, and they're hiring human journalists to sit down and judge sites against their criteria. All of which I think that I think is is a good idea. It's more data. It's and and, and full disclosure, I uh, raised money from Facebook. I'm independent of Facebook. I received no money personally from Facebook or any platform. But one of the projects I'm working on is to aggregate the signals of quality and news. So I'm in this space. Um, uh, so this is an effort to bring this to the consumer. Uh, the the question is how much it'll resonate. Uh, at, a, at, a, at an individual level, individual site level, you know, do, do you agree with their view of Fox News? Do you agree with their view of Daily Caller? Do you agree with their view of RT? It'll proof and pudding. So if you are using Edge uh, on uh, uh, mobile, there is a news rating feature in the settings. You can turn it on. I don't know if it's on by default. It describes NewsGuard as, uh, you know, and, and what it does. Um I think this is kind of. Does Facebook use NewsGuard? Or what, what is Facebook? No. no. Facebook has all kinds of signals, some of which my project will provide to all of the platforms um, and advertisers and ad networks uh, for free. Um, uh, but they've got a ton of signals on their own. Plus, they've got fact checking. They've they've worked with fact checking networks uh, to give them signals about individual pieces of content, but then that ranks up to the domain level. So, according to the Guardian, NewsGuard is saying that Mail Online, which I guess is the Daily Mail, is yes. unreliable, and that's probably Ooh, true. I, actually, I tell probably that. pretty much true. <laughs> yeah. So, my daughter came to me the other day and said, "I saw this in the mail," and then yeah. I was like, "So I had to sit down and explain." Journalistic standards, and then the other day she was like, oh, "Did you see in the post?" And I was like, "Wait." Which post? She's like the New York Post. And I was like... <sighs> no, but that's a good that education again? you're giving her. It is a good education. And it is yeah. nuanced because they're both mainstream outlets. Yes. Uh, it's and not. They're not the National Enquirer, but they're maybe a little sensationalistic. Is that what you told her? What did you, what did you I, say? I, I talked about how different organizations are like people. And you know you, oh, how you have some friends good. who are like... Yeah, gossipy. And yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. I was like, so you have friends, and I mentioned some friends, so I don't want to do that here on the air. But, and then you have others, and so when one friend comes with this kind of information, how do you treat it? And she explains how she treats it. Oh, this is you're like, such a good mom. That is a great teaching opportunity. What? That's really cool. And then I put her in a room, and I didn't feed her any dinner. 